through that fucking bite, man. It was just, oh, what the fuck are and you? And then I just went, crack, and it was just fucking, mm. setting my rods up and everything but I just like to once again I got a lot of feedback from sharing what uh, lures I have in my arsenal or what I have in my boat or have on me that I, I throw um, and it's something that I used to look at as well like paying attention to to what other people used to have um, and what they used to throw so unless give you guys a bit of insight into what what I'm looking at doing and what I'm looking at throwing so here we have Beautiful pass from the postman. Alright, I'm just going to grab whatever's on top. A lot of people might be familiar with jerkbait fishing. Well, this is the Mega Bass Canada. It's a floating jerkbait, but it's not like a normal jerkbait that, that you see used for like so small mouth and large mouth bass. This has got a lot bigger profile. 160 mil, so it's a fair size. If you have a look at the size of that, it's actually a fair size jerk bait. Now that, it's got a solid rattle. And it, um, ooh, suspends as well. So, ah, this comes with three trebles. I'm actually probably, probably gonna knock off that middle one there and upgrade though the front and the rear. But um, really looking forward to throwing that. I've got that purposely in a real flashy sort of a colour, bit of a gold, bit of a green back, nice back to it, beautiful finish to it as all Magabass lures are like and it's yeah that that knock over a little tinny rattle has me um yeah really keen to use it so there's that Megabass Canada. I've got that actually too good. I had to grab another one just in a more natural colour so I might actually even double that up when I'm chasing big trout. So there's that one there. Same lure again. What else have I got in here? Oh yes. I actually picked this one up. You guys already seen it. Mega Bass Big M 4.0. Just a seasoned veteran. Just keeps getting them. Um, I'm actually replacing this one. Um, replacing one because I actually going back last week. Actually. Fishing land based, I actually managed to hook a real good fish. The fish I was actually after. Um, I'll just roll that clip now. I'm on. Oh, yes. First cast in the hole. Look at it. What a truck. Dude, we've got to beach him somewhere. First cast. Oh, man. He. Smack. Please don't lose this piece. <laughs> really want this one. Oh, get stuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, man. How's that? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, well. Got to look at it. But yeah, that was uh, the fish I was after and actually not long after that actually got smoked by another fish but uh, Well things don't always go your way, but it's more motivational for next time. So that 
Um, oh, this has me super excited. You may see this on a bit of social media and getting around. The Mega Bass Mega Dog. Gets the dogs. All the 2.8s. All of them. Look at the size of that. That is a top water lure. It's a big, um, yeah, big walk dog stick bait. Oh, sticky sharp hooks. They actually come with two X strong uh, BKK hooks. So there's that one there. It's actually pretty heavy. 220 mil and 130 grams. These are saltwater color, but personally, when it comes to top water fishing in particular, I'm not too crash hold on colors. I'm pretty happy. Actually, a bit of a challenge for myself to throw out the color lures that you probably wouldn't normally, but um, very keen. Again, solid rattle. Real solid. So when you oh get oh <laughs> when you get it walking across the top of the water with the um, momentum of the rod tip and turning of the real handle, you can really get it to walk. So I'm really keen to get that going, especially um, big clear water impoundments and in river, in fast flowing water. So that's one there. What else have we got here? And something that gets overlooked a lot is um, buying all these lures and you don't store them correctly. So what I've actually got myself is a um, really hard, robust tackle box, waterproof, sealed, um, yeah, I've even got this just for my rings. I've actually got some chin weights in there now, just so I grabbed them and threw them in there before I left home. But um, it's awesome, just small things like that. And they're not overly expensive either. Very reasonable, and it's awesome. Looks good, tidy, and um, yeah, very um, compact. So that, and then also I've got this for um, some of my lures, like say, big 10 inch mag draft. Some guys are not sure how to store them. Um, big zip bag. Easily store a heap in there. You easily get like at least four in there. And I know um, some plastics or soft plastics don't merge or don't, don't like to be around other plastics. They can deform um, and melt into each other, especially colors. So, but uh, no, nah, the mag draft don't mind each other, just not other brands that can actually bleed colours. Um, so yeah, and this plastic is actually um, front, like nice and easy on the uh, mag drafts of plastic, so there's that. It's also nice and tidy, looks cool. So, and you can also see through it, which is a big plus. You can see what's in there. This is that. And then also, something fresh to my lineup is a new rod. The uh, Valkyrie. Yeah, do you see it's a rate up to four four ounce. And what's unique about this one is you have a quick look. Um, you twist the butt to loosen it up, and you push it in. It actually sits nicely because it sits under your arm, below your elbow. So when you throw on spinner baits and stuff, but then when you want to throw big swim baits, you just twist it, pull it out, and tighten it back up again. And then now you've got yourself a swim bait rod, so you've got that leverage to really chuck those big baits out there. Um, and it also matched nicely with a three or four hundred size uh, bait caster reel. Um, it's got a really nice taper to it. It's actually what something that is pretty cool is I don't know if the camera will pick it up. See the spiral, spiral uh, wrap guides on it. It actually starts on top. Starts on top and then works. Starts on on the underside of the tip, and as you can see, as I'm panning down, see how it makes its way around, and then this guides on top and just up close with the butt section. Just with the butt section there, you can sort of see. This is what I meant. Just a bit of a twist. Tuck it in there and you twist it and lock it back up again. That's pretty cool. So it's basically like having two rods in one without having to you know, change your outfit, so it's pretty cool. And um, yeah, really looking forward to get this stuck into some fish. So yeah. Throw um, something like the uh, big Vitalium 190 
or even um, things like that Mega Dog um, or big 10 inch mag draft. That's pretty much what I see this throw on very easily and the ice slide and the Garuda. Just awesome. So I'm really keen to give this a good workout and hopefully pin a few fish on it. One of my goals for this up and coming season, um, is something I'd harp on about is setting goals and trying to achieve them. Well, for me, this year is um, uh, I'm gonna put a bit more effort in chasing that big fish land based. So, cause I know not everyone has access to a boat or a kayak. So I really want to push that out there that it can be done. So with good gear and get out there, put the hours and the time for it. And um, yeah, already had the chance at one, but that's fishing. Anyway, it's beautiful out here now. We're gonna definitely gonna give it a crack tonight. Looks like we're gonna have a bit of a crack. Hopefully we get stuck into a few. I hope. That's the plan anyway. Of course it has to happen. <laughs> this is gonna be hilarious. Get your phones out quick. <laughs> Someone else's lure sitting there on the surface too. Yeah, yeah. Usually chase some bigger fish. Whereabouts is your line? I don't want to cast where you are. So you don't care if I go? Yeah. yeah the way the flow is going, it's just making it hard for me to get in there properly. Oh, did you see that? Did you hear that? Oh, gee. See me? Well, I've definitely set myself a challenge. Now, I don't know how many fish that is for me now. And there's been some absolute <laughs> quality in them. I don't know, just haven't had them stick. And when they do, they fall off right when I go to get them. But that's all right. It's, uh, it's the reason why I set this challenge because I do want to have it, you know, a bit of um, reward for effort to it. I'm, I know it's not going to come easy, but I've had my chances already, so I can't, can't excuse that. Have I set the bar too high for myself? I don't know. But uh, it's come to the stage now where I'm very fortunate. I've, you know, I've got a few meter fish to my name now. Like swim bait, surface, hard bodies, swim bait, uh, plastics, you know, you name it. I've, strive towards it and I'm, I'm pretty sure I've achieved it but getting one land based all right it's going to be 
something that I'm going to aim for because I know, like I may have said earlier, not everyone has fortunate to have a kayak or a boat or friends with a boat to be able to get out there and um, and enjoy it. So now I'm going to, this one's for you guys. <laughs> this one's for the back to basics, the guys that are starting out and realizing it is possible. So I've had one smash me on the big M 4.0, fell off at my feet. They missed another bite shortly after and then Actually last night, late last night, just on dark, missing that one off the top on the big mega dog. It's not going to come easy. That's all right. All right, signing off from here on the beautiful Murray River. <sighs> Your fisherman, Captain.